Say hi. Hi. Up here. Hi. Hi. Hospital mom hacks. You see that? Mm. No? Okay. Hello and welcome to Hospital Mom Hacks. Today's video is about uh, something that I created called the quiet box. What it is, it's a, it's a tool that I came up with with help from my daughter's, um, one of my daughter's uh, SLP supports. And basically I use it when I am in her hospital room and doctors, nurses, important people come in and I need to talk with them, but I can't leave her room. And so I made a box full of things that she can independently use that she wouldn't need to ask me for help with that um, interest her and keep her occupied for at least, you know, 10 to 15 minutes or about the time it takes for me to have a conversation with someone when I need her quiet in the background and we're in the same room. So I made the quiet box. Let me show you how it works. Okay, quiet box time, so let's whisper. Okay, let's show people what's inside. So I taped some pictures to color on the inside and I included crayons in the box. Um, uh, <laughs> um, some things, they're all quiet toys. <laughs> Susus are a little bit of a treat, so they also help keep her quiet. Bracelets, stickers, nothing in here makes noise. Um, some funny little funky fuzzies to play with. Rubber bands. Some funny little things they can play with. Uh, a roll, more to color with. Some wooden toys she can color on or, you know, imaginary play with. Um, I'm sure there's tons of ideas for quiet toys you can put in here, and these are just a few. And uh, she can open the box by herself, play with what she likes quietly while I have an important discussion. Hi, Jers. Of course, our dog would not be in the hospital room, but this is just showing you how it works from home. The quiet box. I hope this tip has helped you today. Um, please subscribe to my channel, Hospital Mom Hacks. I also have a, a blog, uh, isabellasmustardseed.blogspot.ca, and I write about our three-year-long medical journey. Uh, I'm also a co-author in a book that you can buy at www.dearstressbook.com. Ah, my book, I'm a co-author. In this book and in my chapter, chapter nine, I talk about how I have survived stress living in a hospital for over 600 days with my daughter. Um, also, I am sporting my Ronald McDonald House shirt. You can see it. There's no place like home except the Ronald McDonald House. Buy a shirt, support a Ronald McDonald House near you. Take care, Hospital Mom Hacks Nation. Mwah.